Hey everyone, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you uh, one of the latest updates that we've made to the Design Files platform. Now we had a lot of requests from designers who wanted to be able to include a markup to the products that they are including within their client project. So we have built that in now and you'll be able to adjust the markup from several locations within your Design Files account. One of those locations is within the browser clipper itself. So if you're grabbing a product from another vendor's uh, site, First off, I should say, uh, if you don't have a trade account, you can always still just grab the retail price for this product using uh, this icon right here. So you can click on the retail price and it will add in. Now, if you don't have any trade discounts, then you're not gonna do anything with the markup field here and this will be the price that is added to this product when you save it to your Design Files account. But if you have a trade account with this particular vendor and you can get this product at a much lower uh, price point, then you can add in the price point that you can get this item at. And then you can also include the markup that you want to include for this product so that your client sees the new custom price that you're gonna be offering to them. So let's say you wanna include a markup of 30%. When you include the markup, we're automatically going to tally that up so you can see that the client price for this product is now 2600 Now when you save that item to your Design Files account, that 2600 price point is the price point that your clients are going to see when you add this product to your projects. Or if you need to be able to adjust the markup based on a project by project basis, you can also do that as well. So I'll just jump over to a project here. Now let's say that I've got this uh, particular chair here, but I'm just gonna change the markup that I'm gonna charge to this particular client. So what I can do is I can go into this menu, I'm gonna edit the price and details, and from, when, and from within this particular uh, menu here, I'm just gonna change this markup. Let's say I'm gonna drop it to 25%. The client price is gonna update based on that markup. And then when I save this, that's the price that the client is going to see. Now, just remember if you are going to be adding in your uh, or making use of your trade discounts and you're going to be adding in a markup, you want to make sure that you are hiding that shop link. You don't want your client to be able to use that shop button to go to the retail store and purchase the item themselves. So just make sure you've got this toggle turned on to replace that shop link with approve and reject buttons. And when we preview this project as a client, uh, you'll see that when I scroll down the page here, this is what your client's gonna see. So they're gonna see the product name if you chose to keep that, the uh, custom price that you are offering up to them, and now they can quickly go ahead and either approve this item for order or reject this item to see another option. So that's the latest update that we've made to the Design Files platform. Uh, definitely get in there, log into your account, test it out, and let us know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.